the San Jose Museum of Quilts and Textiles is going to create a innovation lab that focuses on digital textile design. And this is the space. Uh, it is 18 feet by 30 feet. And um, it has one door and very high ceilings. And you can see in the corner there's one, two objects. One is the sink. That's a sink right there. And it's already installed. There's the entry door. And in the back is what is going to be the printer. We haven't identified the exact printer yet. Um, we're looking into the Miyamaki 1600 as well as some other printers. Um, one thing that we're going to take into account is there is not a ventilation system installed in the space. So that will really re determine and restrict potentially the kinds of uh, printing materials, printing tools, and machines that we get. So we're going to just enter into this space here. This was created in Google SketchUp. Um, the space is going to be a multi-purpose space, so it'll be used for uh, education, programming, lectures, um, an artist residency hopefully. Um, so the equipment and the tools that we get, especially the furniture, is going to have to be uh, movable and flexible. We're hoping to also maybe have some flexible dividers for the space. Um, a couple days ago I visited the Stanford's D School and they have some really wonderful um, ideas um, for how to make spaces flexible and facilitate collaboration and innovation and design. And that is definitely something that we look to incorporate here. Another thing I'd love to incorporate is a uh, Wii Remote interactive surface wall for one whole wall. Um, and this is very inexpensive and simple to do. You suspend a Wii Remote from the ceiling. You have a uh, USB projector and a laptop and we remote pen, interactive surface pens, um, smooth board software, and you can create a whole interactive surface uh, on any wall. So we're hoping that we can implement that. Um, but this is basically the space, and um, we will be identifying what we're going to fill it with. Thank you.